There are growing calls for the multiple branding of Exmoor ponies to be banned. It's thought the breed is the most heavily branded pony in the world. Janine Jansen's report contains images you may find upsetting. Exmoor ponies living wild on the moors are branded so they can be identified from a distance. But many welfare groups say it's painful and unacceptable and should be stopped. Currently they are branded uh, with up to seven digits um, and that's, that, that involves going in to the pony three times with um, three sets of red hot irons onto their flesh. Um, two brands on the scapular area and one or two brands on the rump. Um, the brands are held, the, the hot irons are held on the pony for up to four seconds. The first time you go in, it's unpleasant. The second time you go in, the pony knows what's coming and it's abuse. But the third time you go in, it's torture. Some farmers say they'd prefer not to brand if they had an alternative for visual identification. Current alternatives include microchipping, but you need to be close to read it, neck collars, but they can come off, and freeze branding, but you can't do it to foals. Vet Miriam Geraghty from Cornwall assisted the consultation in Scotland, where branding is now banned. Each brand put onto a pony or horse causes a skin lesion, which lasts up to seven days, uh, which is the same as a third degree human burn. This is obviously, without doubt, very painful. Dawn thinks that domestic ponies that never run wild on the moors shouldn't be branded at all. Currently, it's optional. And it's the star that's the Exmoor symbol. The Exmoor Pony Society declined to be interviewed, but in a statement they said they've recommended the star should now be dropped as the two remaining brands are sufficient to identify the pony. And they're considering the introduction of a new system that would identify the pony in a single brand. Janine Jansen, BBC Spotlight, Exmoor.